Good morning and aloha shifters once again. This is Brendan and we are about to do another daily tarot reading, a daily tarot card draw. So we did this yesterday for the first the first time officially and uh, we're going to do it again here today. And given that these are live broadcasts, we're just going to take a moment here to give people a chance to tune in. And uh, shout out to those of you who tuned in yesterday. Shout out to, uh, oh, I could give like so many shout outs. Abby, shout out to you. Um, I'm glad you're tuned in. I had a feeling, I'm like, I'm like I hope Abby joins because I saw you joined yesterday. And Abby right now is probably at home resting after a long night of being at a, like, being a witness to, uh, to animals, for animals at like an animal vigil. And uh, if you guys haven't yet, connect to Abby's profile. She's amazing. So um, in addition to this broadcast being a chance to just give a shout out to how awesome you guys are, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a tarot card reading. And so this is the deck that we're using. This is the Ananda tarot deck. Um, I know it's going to be like backwards for you guys. And again, so what we do with this is that we're just going to do one tarot card reading, one tarot card draw. And this is a chance for the universe to sort of give us a message. So right now, like the reason why I'm doing this is because it works. Like that's like a really, really interesting idea in itself. So this is a chance for the universe to communicate to itself. And it is made possible simply by us showing up in the first place. And that's like a really powerful thing. So yes, I set my alarm for about like to wake up about 15 minutes ago so I woke up and I was just like all right let's do this and part of the reason for doing this is also to create like a little bit of a spiritual habit a spiritual ritual for both us as a community and for myself so um, this will be something that we're just going to continue doing on weekday mornings unless I like sleep in or something like that um, and, and not on weekdays so come back again on Monday for the next tarot card reading. So if you guys want to share this with your friends, I'm just going to explain real quick. And uh, we're going to get right into this. And this video will only be in maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And so the way how tarot works, tarot works like a quantum fortune cookie. Meaning that you don't know what's inside the fortune cookie until you open it. And until you open it, it could be anything. It, turn, it, it becomes whatever it needs to be. So since we're like not observing what's on the other side of these cards, they exist in an unquantified state. And as we shuffle them, we create the synchronistic potential to allow ourselves to choose whatever one we are uh, best to receive in that moment. So we're going to ask the, t the universe, and I invite you guys to ask with me alongside, what is it? Show us what we need to see. That is like the very, very simple, simple question that we're asking. So guys, I'm going to do the tarot card draw in the next minute. So if you guys want to just like let people know that we're doing this or share this in the future, that is greatly appreciated. And um, after that, I'm going to do my little reading from the book here. And uh, this broadcast is sponsored by Light Guardian Pendants. Get yours by sending me a private message. And then we'll finish with a short private message. <laughs> private short meditation it's early guys okay so again the the exciting thing about doing these tarot card readings is the fact that they work and what makes them work is the idea that we show up so the universe is like oh good they're listening let's talk to them so this is going to be a chance for us to hear something that we need to hear and it's going to be unique for us as individuals so we're going to do the draw right now, guys. I've shuffled the deck, and the way how I do this, or let me just shuffle it a bit more. I invite you guys to put your intention into this. Through the power of not just the camera, but through the power that beyond the camera, you guys know that like I'm actually doing this, and you guys can like put your energy beyond space-time. So we're just charging the deck by shuffling it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to like split it like this. So this is the way how I draw. It's a very synchronistic process where I kind of like move my hand up and down, Move this hand up and down, and then I just kind of connect in the moment. And then I just pinch. Oh, I think he saw that. <laughs> okay, but we're going to draw. We're going to draw the one on top. 
So we're gonna draw this one right here. Okay, so the uh, card that we are drawing right now is the Knight of Swords. This is a very powerful card, guys. Very, very cool. So this is one of the uh, one of the face cards, and let me just pull open the. Here it is. Perfect. I love when I can like flip right to the page too. That's awesome. So let me just show this to you. Let me get nice and close so the audio is okay. So this is the Knight of Swords. So take a look at the symbolism real quick. I'm just gonna get a drink of orange juice here. So like, what does that say to you by looking at it? So again, this reading that we're doing, this is intended to help give us additional insight for the spiritual journey that we are all going through collectively and to give us like the additional inspiration. So, Knight of Swords, and so I'm going to read it for you. The image, rising above earthly events from several layers of a turbulent sky. The cool glance of an alert mind appears. Meaning, through the connection of the air element with the fire element, the creative power of thought unites with goal-oriented willpower. The masculine aspect of the air element is also found here in the Knight of Swords. And I'm just going to reread some parts that stand out. The creative power of thought unites with goal-oriented willpower. The dynamic principle of fire can point out that it is high time to react to the challenges in life. Thoughts and insight can reach the penetrating force of lightning and bring about massive revolution. Read that again. Thoughts and insights can reach the penetrating force of lightning and bring about mass revolution. Through the influence of the Knight of Swords, we can reach new convictions based upon clear-headed observation. These tell us that we are to bring about important changes in our life. When the old world view no longer stands up to critical observation as it limits mental freedom. This is very interesting and very relevant if you guys happen to have tuned into last night's team building hangout for paradigm shift and you can check out the recording let me reread some of that through the influence of the knight of swords we can reach new convictions based upon clear-headed observations these tell us that we are to bring about important changes in our life when the old worldview no longer stands up to critical observation as it limits mental freedom a fresh mind has clear differentiation, differentiations, differentiations ability. That's an interesting way of reading it. A fresh mind has clear differentiations ability, and the openness to constantly broaden its horizon. This, the concurrence of thought, word, and deed, is a major condition for using the positive aspects of this power and also for attaining somewhat high-reaching ideals. The concurrence of thought, word, and deed is a major condition for using the, pa the positive aspects of this power, and also for attaining somewhat high-reaching ideals, period. Astrological significance, Mercury, Mars, Aquarius, fire and air elements. Keywords, mental agility, decisiveness, quickness, skillfulness, high-ranging ideals, critical observation, readiness to take risk, traditional meaning, intelligence, logical thinking, sense of justice, freedom, disassociation, quick reactions. So that's what is written here. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on this. So what's interesting here that stood out to me, the, uh, where was that line? Da, 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 da. Thoughts and insights can reach penetrating force of lightning and bring about massive revolution. 
So this is really interesting because it's talking about the power of like an idea, the power of shifting one's paradigm. And so this can be thought of as in a few ways. This can be like thought of as within your own personal paradigm, your own personal story, but it can also be thought of as like our collective story and the collective observations of our like connections of our potentials within this reality. It's one of those ideas that, you know, if I, if, if like, it, it's kind of like a quote that like, if a fish is judged by its ability to climb a tree, then it will live its life thinking it's stupid or something like that. Right. So it's kind of, about being aware of what thoughts and what stories you are living through. What lenses are you perceiving the world through? And to know that through the process of changing that, to be open to changing that, that can radically shift your potential. It can radically shift like your ability to become a better co-creator, if I just wanna like boil this down, by no longer limiting yourself to the previous like constraints of some narratives and some stories and so like with this one I think this is an important reminder for us to not only question what ideas we're holding on to but to also be open to exploring new ideas so a lot of times when we're going through this life we'll have perceptions and we'll have worldviews we should look at the source of where those came from were they something that we like brought into our reality based on our own experience of it? Or was it something that maybe our parents gave us or our, our religious institutions gave us or our media gave us or our government gave us, right? So really check in with your thoughts. What are they originating from? And through the process of the Knight of Swords, it is saying... Thoughts and insights can reach the penetrating force of lightning and bring about massive revolution. So it's going back almost like V for Vendetta. The power of like a single thought can have a chain reaction within one's personal reality. And this also goes to like culture on a massive scale. So in the same way a single thought can affect like your individual shift, a thought can also go through society as lightning. And so this thought could be something related to like love is the answer. <clears throat> it can be related to like seeing beyond some of the illusions of separateness. It can be related to remember you are dreaming. There's a lot of powerful thoughts that are rippling their way through this reality. Another thought can be like our relationship between ourselves and food and, and you know, like animals and everything like that. So oftentimes, like, we're led to, this is just an obvious example, again, encouraging us to, like, change the way we think about things. And to, da, 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 a fresh mind has clear differentiations ability and the openness to constantly broaden its horizon. The concurrence of thought, word, and deed is a major condition for using the pos positive aspects of this power and also for attaining somewhat high-reaching ideals. So again, broadening our horizons. And I'll just give another example, right? Like how much of society tells us that like, yeah, like eating meat is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with eating meat. Here's a commercial of people eating meat. Look how happy they are. Eat some meat, you know? And then people are just like, yeah, okay, I can do that, right? And so again, it's kind of one of those things that that's one idea that's being put forth. Yet people are just like radically shifting, radically changing their own perspectives, opening up to like new information. And then through the process of doing that, it is, it's changing their ideals and it's changing their relationship with the world. So, I mean, our relationship with food and everything is one example. Our relationship with spirituality, our relationship with religion, our relationship with government, our relationship with our own governments, government, the governments of the mind, the governance of the mind is a big part in this. So even just going back to some of the keywords, keywords, mental agility. So again, this card is reminding us to be mentally agile, mentally flexible. And so again, I'll, I'll wrap it up within like the next minute. Even be aware of what stories you're telling yourself, because I think those are so important and we really have to challenge those. So sometimes, again, kind of based on our paradigm that we're living in, Sometimes we can get into these self-defeating stories or these self-limiting stories, these stories of saying like, 
I really want to do this, but no one will listen. I really want to do this, but I'm not good enough. I really want to reach this point, but why even try? And so mental agility is like the ability to catch yourself holding those stories and to let them go. And then in the process of doing that, that's where you gain like high ranging ideals and critical observation and readiness, readiness to take risks. That's what this is about as well. And pioneer spirit. So this is about like going against the grain and having that fearlessness to challenge other people's perceptions of the world that maybe they're putting on culture or you're like bringing into your own sphere and to challenge your own perceptions of the world, challenge your own stories. So really like bringing in a radicalness of self-confidence and saying like, yes, like I will do this. I, I am observing my like limiting belief stories and choosing to let them go. And in the process of doing that, you like open up, you take a risk to this, this unknown, but in the process of doing so, you're, you're opening yourself up to new levels of experience, like bonus XP. You know, you, you only, if you're only playing the game on easy mode, which is sometimes like what other people will want you to play it as, then you'll only gain so much experience. But if you play it on hard mode, then you start unlocking like new abilities and things like that. And so sometimes hard mode means questioning our boundaries, going outside our comfort zone. So again, Knight of Swords, this was a great card and reminding you guys to really be agile with your thoughts. Question where your thoughts are coming from, question where society's thoughts are coming from, and encouraging you to look at them, encouraging you to shift them, encouraging you to transform them. And in the process of doing so, transform yourself. So take a look at society's thoughts. If there's things where you're just like, I don't know about that, keep looking into it and then change it within yourself. And then you can bring that change out into the world around you. So a simple one would be like the illusion of separateness. Society's like trying to get us to go against each other and be like, whoa, 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 like, hold on. There's something deeper here. And so through the observation of that, we find our growth and we find the courage to be able to step forward and make positive change in doing so to shift the paradigms. So this card is very much about shifting paradigms. So there's the Knight of Swords for you guys. Take another look at that. You got some cool imagery in the sky. Got the sword in there. Got the eagle. Very cool stuff. You got that gaze across the horizon. Cool guys. All right, so we're gonna wrap up this meditation and we'll do another one of these on Monday morning at 9.36 a.m. And to wrap this up, I'm just gonna do a closing short moment of oneness meditation, which is literally just all of us taking a moment here. If you're able to listen to this from the beginning, just tuning in and kind of embodying like the chance for us to help shift the paradigms, the chance for us to help bring in that personal change into the world in the process of doing so to be able to really, really do what we came here to do in a lot of ways. So if you guys have thoughts and observations on this card, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And again, just as a promo, remind you guys that the Light Guardian pendants are available to be able to get, and these are awesome to use as meditation tools. And if you're interested, send me a private message. They are available for a pay what you can method of between 30 and $60 US. So whatever you want to pay between that, you can do that. And again, by like putting these on my hand and holding them like that, the crystal here and holding it like that, you can like feel the pulse through your own body and the crystals absorb electromagnetic frequency and our body is like an electromagnetic frequency emitter. And so this is like some ancient futuristic technology that I'm still learning from. So I'm gonna hold on to these as we take a moment here to just like meditate together. So I'm inviting you guys to just like get comfortable, sit up, be excited. Today is a new day, a new opportunity to help change the world. So by changing yourself, you change the reality around us, the shared dream. So just inviting you guys here to close your eyes and take at least two long deep breaths in silence together, begin.
So we're reminding you that with all the cards, we are the cards. You are the Knight of Swords, able to change this world with your sword, with your words. So carry your words as your sword, carry your thoughts as your sword, cut apart old ideas, build new ones, and to be able to create something incredibly beautiful, incredibly exciting, incredibly challenging, but incredibly an, oppor an opportunity for growth as well. And so I invite you to be aware of the difficulty levels that you are playing this game on. If you're playing it on easy mode, that is totally cool, but know that there are other ways to play this game. And by questioning the beliefs that perhaps keep us comfortable, that keep us docile, we invite ourselves into new realms of freedom, new realms of perception, new expanded ways of seeing being and creating. So gently take another breath here. And align yourself with your personal intention to do whatever it is you need to do today. To go out there to kick some ass and help shift those paradigms. Aho. So much love, guys. Thank you again so much for tuning into this. Again, as a reminder, you'll be able to tune into the next one Monday morning at 9.06 a.m. And a uh, huge shout out to everyone for being a part of this. Huge shout out to your support. Reminding you guys that you can also sign up for the team Patreon to be able to get your shifter booster kits, which come with your shift buttons, which is what I'm wearing right here. The shift buttons are the tools that we as shifters use to help shift consciousness, and they help support the ongoing evolution of the project and to support the time involved as director, which is what I do as a full-time job. And so, once again, it's really an honor to be able to do this with you guys. Um, this is an idea that I've had for a while to do these little tarot readings first thing in the morning. I think it's powerful medicine to really be able to be like, all right, universe, what should we think about today, right? So there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of cards in this deck, and we'll get through them one by one as we go through this. So come back, join us again for another 906 tarot card reading. The 906 is like the balance, the magic there. And again, if you guys are interested in the Light Guardian pendants, you can get those, just send me a private message and the funds raised from those are supporting the Paradigm Shift Central project and they're great to use for meditation. And thank you guys so much. All right, guys, I got lots of work to do today. And if you guys didn't check out the newest Paradigm she Shift, Shift, Paradigm Shift, if you guys didn't check out the newest Paradigm Shift team building hangout from the other night, definitely go check it out. It was very interesting. I almost don't want to spoil it for you, but we got into a lot of like the significance of like ancient spiritual mysticism and talking about like the way of uh it was kind of like related to like spirituality and religion and stuff but really trying to take a critical look a critical look at it and conversations like there was a nice surprise along the way so if you guys want to check that out go to paradigmshiftcentral.com and you can download the mp3 of it and uh if you hadn't you can also check out the dream class broadcast which was another awesome one and the full moon the super full moon healing meditation which is another awesome thing that i recommend that you guys go check out when you get a chance so all that content's there and it's all for free and it's all there to help download into your own experience and continue to inspire you guys to keep being awesome you guys are awesome you guys are so awesome each one of you creators artists artists in your own way dancers dreamers lovers singers shifters so much love guys it's uh yeah that, that one was probably a little bit longer that was like a 25 minute broadcast give or take thank you guys so much for being a part of this i'm gonna get shifted over i got a lot of work i'm gonna be doing today and thank you so much again for joining in please feel free to share this tune in again for other broadcasts and if you're looking for more you can check out my youtube at skull babylon and uh much love guys again leave your thoughts and comments and leave a 555 in the comments plus your location if you want people to add you to your profile and then you can make some more shifty friends so thank you guys so much much love have a beautiful day wherever you are whenever you are go out there kick some butt shift some paradigms and until next time i'll see you guys in the future much love peace guys i love you <laughs>